morning again people this is Sam South Carolina Happy Bees uh, this is hive number 67 double deep nuke and we're gonna go in it and look today it's supposed to have queen cells nope this one got a yellow queen this one got queen cells this is supposed to have a yellow queen so let's see how she's doing Feeder ring off. Take your feeder off. There's a wax moth running around. It was running around. He's laying down now. Let me take this one out. like they put nectar in it could be a good laying frame no bugs in the pollen patty Frame here that's got a situation we're going to have to fix that. It's got some nectar in it. Just one of those that got hot. And it fell off from the strings. We'll run some more strings on it. Before we close it up. This one here. There's one of our foundations, our frames, with the fish of mine that they're working on. Another reason I use, um, there's a lot of reasons I use fishing line. I let them build their own wax, because that way I know it's clean wax. When I was buying the wax from the stores, I didn't know who they were buying their wax from. They buy it in truck loads and stuff, I think. This one here has some pollen, some brood. Okay, this one here has some pollen, some brood, some larvae, some nectar, some pollen. Piece of pine straw. But as far as the mites, the only thing I've seen that gets rid of the mites, there's two things. You can make, if you got mites, you can make a split. Because without brood, the mites messes up their their brood mm -hmm. cycles. Okay, and uh, if you make splits and make queens, then the brood cycle of the mites is destroyed. So killed. This one here is a just a frame. It's got a little nectar on it. But it'll mess up their the drone cycle, which will make it a lot less. And then when the, just before the queen starts to lay, when she comes back, and you check your date, just before she starts to um, lay her eggs again, you oxalic acid it a couple of times, and you shouldn't have any mites for a while. Then you go back in, some people, 
if you haven't been working with the mites and oxalic acid, oxalic acid to me is the best way to do it. It's quick, 100%. Uh, I don't know if it's 100% or not. Probably 98 anyway. Percent. Kill. And I'm at the front of the hive here. You're not supposed to work a beehive from the front. Okay? Because I'm, what I'm doing is messing up the bees coming in the front door. And I know how it is with me when I'm trying to go through a door and there's somebody blocking it. It just irritates me. And it does the same thing with my bees, these little people. And they're very calm. This one here is a good brood frame. We have some pollen, has some nectar. There's propolis on these little wings here. Some people say leave it. Some people say don't. If it gets too thick, I get rid of it because it's easier to pull the frames out that way. But now the propolis is kind of like the beehive's medicine cabinet. They use propolis in a lot of medical stuff too now. These propolis is good for you. A lot of people just eat it, which I've done. This one here has some honey, some nectar, some pollen. Some larvae, some eggs, this is honey, this is some larvae, some eggs, some cap brood, honey, and pollen. Hasn't been very long that the queen has been on this one. That frame. She's been on that one since she been. She went to this one, laid eggs, and then she went back downstairs. Good queen. This one has pollen, nectar. Eggs and little larvae. And there's the yellow queen. See, she may have stopped laying there for a while since the last time I was in here. But there she is, she's a little queen. Doing her job, put her back in. When you stress out a queen, they quit laying for a time. We know she's in there, we know she's laying, so we're not going to go bother her anymore. We're going to put her back over here, because she's laying again. Have a little bit of pollen, so I'm not going to give them any more. We're going to give them some peppermint candy. Mm. I buy my peppermint candy at Wally Marks. It's a 
Starbright, which is store brand. I buy them in three pound bags. Well, three pound plus bags. They're the cheapest that I found. I'm gonna put four on the bottom one here. I'll put a couple on the top. People ask, does it mess up the honey? Never had anybody complain about the honey having supplement flavoring. And even if it did, it wouldn't be bad. Pine straw out of there. Give them some food. The queen is laying again. Pine straw back in there. Do you see any bugs in them? So we're going to say the pine straw is okay. Put their feeder ring back on it. Put the top back on it. Put their brick back on it, letting us know there's a laying working mark queen in there and that's about it people just the same south carolina half of these in the great south carolina half of bees and there's it there's their other little hole give it subscribe leave us a comment thumbs up and just have a wonderful day people